Next, we're gonna talk about top sheets. This is the icing on the cake and what protects everything else underneath it. And it's also where the graphics go. There are two main types of top sheets. There's nylon and there's TPU. And there's a bunch of like drawbacks and bonuses to each of them, but at the end of the day, it really comes down to your use case. Uh, what you can do to each of them though, which is kind of fun, is all the texturing you can do to the top side of that, that material. So you can have either a matte uh, top sheet, which is what you see here. You can also do a, a glossy one, so it's a lot more shiny. Then some companies like a DPS will have a very texturized matte, which is more for a higher durability. To get a top sheet to have graphics on it, there's basically three different ways you can do it. The first is screen printing, which is great for mass production. It gives you a much more in intense color, which is nice. And also if you're doing a high volume, it, it's a lot easier to crank through a bunch of those. The other option is sublimation, which really isn't used a whole lot anymore. It's basically where you have like a fancy piece of paper, and you heat it up and the ink literally jumps from the paper and like seeps into the top sheet. Uh, it's not quite as good as, uh, as some of the other options. And the, the last one, which is what we use, is direct digital. Basically, just a big billboard printer that you can just print whatever you want onto any ski. It's great for a lot of flexibility, and it's if you're not doing you know 10 or 15,000 units a year, uh, it's a lot easier to, to work with this rather than setting up a screen print every single time. Direct digital has a lot of benefits to it.